All right, so we're looking at we're looking at the actual depth view. Um, so what you can see is you know the 3D rendering of where he is in 3D space. If you come a little bit closer, you can see like some incredible fine detail. You can see his tie. I think that's your belt buckle that we're looking at. Your zippers up. You're good to go. Uh, if you bend down a little bit, we'll be able to see the detail in your face. You can open your mouth, stick your tongue out. Three times the fidelity of what we have in the first sensor is really kind of the ground, one of the groundbreaking uh, areas of tech that allows us to really light things up. Your, your, your tongue wagon's kind of yeah. distracting. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, though. We can't put the next Yes. So the other thing I'd love to point out is the incredible field of view that we have. Like, you all notice how close he actually is to the sensor which is a dramatic step forward from Connect V1, and you can actually see the sofa all the way far back. So, you know, living rooms of all sizes, no matter where the furniture is, we're going to be able to, you know, bring this experience to you. This is a huge leap forward over where, where we were in the first generation. The other thing I'll point out is the incredible horizontal field of view. Uh, if you wouldn't mind kind of walking from side to side, put your arms out, show us your wingspan. Yeah, like this, or? Uh, actually facing the sensor. Oh, so you want me to side to side? Yeah, side to side. Just, just to give people like, a, you know, an overall view of, of how big of an area you can see. So everyone in the living room, no matter how, how, where you are, how your living room is oriented, where your sofa is, you're going to be able to participate. Uh, pretty phenomenal. So now this is a great view for all the technology that we run, but it's not quite so human consumable. So for that, we go to our 1080, 1080p HD color. Um, so this is, you know, six times the resolution of what we had in Connect V1. And you can see the incredible crystal clear, high quality color feed that we have. This will be the premier experience for Skyping in the living room. Um, everybody's involved. You can see everyone no matter where they are. The sofa next to the sofa, far back on the wall. Um, we're really going to be able to light up fantastic experiences, both for you know, Skype, living room, living room communication, and in gameplay scenarios. So this is a new feed available in the next generation of Kinect that we call Active IR. And what it's doing is it's using infrared technology to see everything that's happening in the room. Actually, you can see the gentleman in the front. We can see all of you in the back. Um, so no longer do we have any kind of lighting dependence whatsoever. Uh, pretty fantastic stuff. I'm going to back up once more to the color feed, and I'm going to you know, use my flashlight to kind of show another aspect of the technology. You might want to close your eyes for this so I don't blind you. Typical scenario, you're gaming and you've got a lamp right next to you. So you can see how he's all bloomed out. We can't really see his face. It doesn't show up that great. I'm going to switch back to Active IR. Completely subtract it out. So not only can we see in the dark, but we have complete independence from any of the light sources in the room. So this is what creates a phenomenal, consistent platform for doing all of our computer vision and all of our detection. If you're all familiar with Connect Skeletal Tracking, welcome to the next generation. So as you can see, we've got our next generation skeleton happening right here. Um, I'd like to point out just the incredible stability that we have. The more you move around, the more it's going to represent what you're actually doing. So you can shrug your shoulders, you can kind of lean forward, you can move your head back and forth. Um, and we've got, you know, a really good anatomical recognition. We've got our, our gentleman over on the side there that's even taking pictures showing up. Um, so I'll point out, you know, the accurate spine, the shoulders, all the expressiveness, all running in real time on our hardware platform. Um, other key joints that I'll point out is the, the hands. So if you hold up your hands, you, we actually have joints that represent the tips of your hands and the thumb. So as you rotate your hands around, as you open them, as you close them, you can actually see that happening in the skeleton itself. It's pretty advanced stuff. Um, so we've got, you know, kind of great coverage of how all the bones are connected. This is how they're all oriented next to each other. So this is Blockman. You saw a brief glimpse of him in the video. Um, and as you move around, as you rotate your arms and your shoulders, you can pick up your leg and swing that all around. You can actually see the orientation being represented in real time. We have enough fidelity with the depth map to be able to detect what you're accurately doing. Um, so it's a pretty, pretty phenomenal stuff, I might say. You have a little fun, you can give either way, kind of do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. So this is a block man. Um, you know, but we didn't just stop there. You know, I'm 6'4". My skeleton only weighs 8 pounds. If you want to know what's going on with me at the body level, you've got to be able to understand all my muscles, all the forces that are going on, what torque am I experiencing. That's where we get to muscle man. So muscle man is a human-based physics model applied directly on top of our skeleton and our high-fidelity depth map. And what you're seeing here is a representation of the actual forces that he's feeling in his body. So green representing no force, and then red being the most intense force. So, you know, as you shift weight between your two different feet, you can see that we're detecting which foot he's got all of his weight on on the floor. You know, if I get you to do a little bit of a squat, you can see the force. He's feeling it in his thighs, but we're seeing it on the screen. So 
So, you know, kind of real-time representation of what's happening at his body level. And the last thing we can use this technology for is, you know, keeping track of momentum. So if you can give me a nice, tight little jab, nothing too big, you see the white dot? Um, you know, so we're actually able to track what's going on. Now, if you really put your back into it and shift your weight, you can get a much bigger circle. There we go. So you can see he's shifting weight from one foot to the next, have a really accurate representation of what's happening. All right, so we have, you know, really great telemetry on what's happening with the body, but as any good physical trainer will tell you, like this isn't enough, you need to know it's heart rate as well. So what we're doing here is we're using both our color feed and our active IR feed to actually see his pulse in his face. Um, there's very subtle fluctuations in both the intensity and in his skin color. It's imperceptible to the human eye that we're actually able to detect in real time to detect what his heart rate actually is. So we've talked about the body, but you know, it's not just about the body. We've got these fantastic controllers as well. So I'm going to come join him. I'm going to come into the view. All right, I'm going to hand you a controller. All right. So you may have missed it, but it actually just identified me. It did say guest initially, and now it actually says Kareem. I'm pre-enrolled on this box. So that quickly it actually identified who I was. I walked into the room, and my Xbox knows me. We're both holding controllers. Turns out I gave you the wrong one. You might switch with me. All right, don't push any buttons. Give it a second. All right, well, we can detect in real time. Let's try swapping again. All right, there we go. So as we're swapping controllers, we're able to detect in real time who's holding what controller. You know, we can kind of do one more. Does anyone want to jump up and join us? Anyone else? No, come on. All right, thanks. So we're all here. We got the three of us. Yeah, we're handing controllers. I can hand you a controller if you want. Cool. All right, so controller one should go over there in a little bit when it's done identifying you. The other thing that we can do is we can actually swap places. So let's go ahead and swap. And we'll, we'll all kind of move around. So in real time, it's actually able to detect who's on what side of the screen. Um, and so no longer do we have to swap controllers or swap on the sofa to actually get split screen aligned up to how we are. There's nothing more annoying than being on the right side of the sofa and playing on the left side of the screen. Um,